what's up welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be reviewing a new foundation and this foundation is the new milk fluid matte foundation what is it called yeah the milk makeup blur foundation so this is supposed to be a mattifying foundation um, these were sent to me from influencer to test out so I wanted to do a full review on this foundation because a lot of you requested it in my recent video I know I did a um, haul and I actually shared these in that video and a lot of you were asking me to do a full review so I'm here today to do that review with you guys so this video is going to be pretty much like a first impression mini review on the foundation I have not worn the foundation a full day yet so my plan is to actually wear it to work a few times to see how it holds up on my face and follow up with you guys later on throughout my other videos that I film and let you guys know you know my final thoughts on it but I kind of want to do a like a first impression so you guys can see how the foundation looks on the skin how it applies on the skin and just my first thoughts on it so yeah I don't want to spend too much time on the intro so let's go ahead and apply the foundation on the face so you guys can see how it applies and what it looks like on the skin and if it's going to match my skin tone. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright, so like I said, we are going to be trying out these new foundations. And these are the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation. So, um, and these claim to be matte. So I don't know if this is going to give me like a true matte finish. So I went ahead and applied a moisturizer before I started filming. So I applied the e.l.f. Illuminating Moisturizer because this really gives me a nice glow to my skin so I wanted to apply this before I applied a mattifying foundation and I also primed my t-zone with the Tarte Poreless Mattifying Primer so I just use this for my t-zone because I do get oily in that area even though this foundation claims to be a matte foundation I still wanted to you know just kind of control my t-zone just in case so yeah and they sent me two colors so I have the shade golden deep and I also have the shade deep so I kind of feel like this one is going to be my perfect match but then again you never know until you actually put the product on your face so yeah let's go ahead and apply these and I think I'm gonna apply golden deep first and I'm actually gonna use this freaking sponge that it came with this is the silicone sponge I've never used one of these I've never owned one of these so they also sent over their little um, sponge to apply the foundation with so this is interesting interesting and I'm actually gonna squirt a little bit of this on my hand I'm gonna squirt ooh, ooh, it came out really liquidy so it's really runny it looks like it's gonna be a good match though that actually looks like it's gonna match me perfectly so I'm not even gonna open the darker shade yet so if this matches me perfectly I may just give this away to somebody um, so yeah let's try this out and let's also try this silicone sponge that it came with I don't even know how to use it but we're gonna try it out and see and I also have a little um, beauty sponge just in case I don't like this but you guys this is perfect holy crap do I supposed to tap it or do I supposed to rub it I'm just gonna tap it holy crap this is perfect it's like I didn't put anything on it matches my skin perfectly what okay I am impressed so far very impressed <laughs> and this sponge even though this is the silicone sponge is kind of weird it actually applies the foundation really nicely so I think I'm supposed to tap it or am I supposed to rub it I don't really know but right now I'm just gonna tap it and I think I'm just gonna do one side with the sponge and then the other side with my um, beauty sponge and this is from elf cosmetics so I'm just gonna finish up this side of my face with this silicone thing because I kind of feel like I'm struggling with it I can see that it is kind of drying down to a matte finish so good thing I did moisturize my face because I would have been super matte and I definitely don't like a matte finish on my face I really like the dewy look I know some people don't really care for a dewy like a dewy face but I personally like a dewy look on my face all right whoa that is perfect that is perfect I'm just not looking at the viewfinder but that is perfect 
probably need to blend it out a little bit more so I'm actually gonna pick up my beauty sponge and do the other side of my face um, but this makeup so far it gets a thumbs up not a two thumbs up yet but so far it gets a thumbs up so all right so I pumped out a little bit more and I'm gonna take my elf beauty sponge I really like this sponge and just dab it in my face I feel like the beauty sponges are quicker when applying your foundation like this little silicone thing you have to take your time because I don't know the beauty sponge is so much faster and it just blends out the foundation like it looks like an airbrushed look all right so this is all of the foundation applied on my face it looks really good it looks like like it's so lightweight um, and I love that the color matches me perfectly. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and finish up my makeup and I'll be right back to let you guys know my final thoughts. Alright you guys, so this is the completed look. I've already filmed this whole makeup tutorial. I don't know if it'll be up before this video or after this video, but don't worry. I got you. I did film this makeup tutorial for you guys so you guys can see how I created it. So about this foundation. So it's probably been maybe I want to say an hour since I've had had this foundation on like I said I've already filmed this makeup tutorial and it took me about an hour to film not even gonna lie so I've been wearing this foundation for about an hour now and I do notice a little creasing around my laugh lines which is normal because I always have creasing around those if I don't prime my face really good I know before this I did prime my face with the um, Tarte Poreless mattifying primer but I only use it on my t-zones I didn't really want to put it around my smile lines because I wanted to see if this foundation was really good um, with you know not showing all the creasing around my smile lines so obviously it's not that good around that area but other than that I really like how this foundation sits on the skin now as far as the finish it does say it's supposed to be a matte foundation but I did notice when I was applying the foundation it was kind of drying up matte but it did not dry up to where it was just too matte on my face like I still have a nice dewy look maybe because I applied the um, elf illuminating moisturizer before I put the foundation on so that's one thing I may have to try out next time is not applying an illuminating moisturizer before I apply this foundation um, so just to see if it is a true matte foundation but I just don't like a matte foundation I just don't like the matte look on me so I do have to moisturize before I apply any mattifying foundations or anything like that so yeah as far as the finish like I said it looks really really nice on the skin it does not look cakey it just looks very very nice and it's very lightweight now that is also another thing that I love about this foundation is very lightweight um, and it just looks really airbrushed on the skin so I love it it retails for $40 at Sephora so it is available online right now if you guys are interested in getting this now what I'm gonna do is actually try wearing this to work and seeing how it holds up throughout the day and I'll definitely follow up with you guys later on in another video to let you guys know if this held up nicely throughout the whole day like I said I've only had it on for maybe about an hour now um yes yeah, so about an hour going on two hours now and it is holding up really really nicely so I really love the finish I love that the color matches me perfectly and yeah I don't really have any complaints about this foundation yet but other than that so far I give this foundation a two thumbs up it is really really nice very lightweight on the skin not drying on the skin even though it is a matte foundation I noticed that it's not drying at all but yeah I think that is everything I have to say about the foundation um, so far so good I just do want to get more use out of it to see if I really 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 like it this is kind of like a first impression type video so I can't really tell you guys my final thoughts on the foundation because I haven't been wearing it all day but I will touch bases with you guys later on throughout my other videos um, to let you guys know my final thoughts on this so yeah I think that is everything I have I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review if you did make sure you thumbs it up and also if you're not subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe before you leave and yeah I think that is everything I have thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye